My name is Jacqueline Moore and I'm a part-time resident down here on Cobb Island in Southern Maryland, Charles County. And our Cobb Island Community Association owns eight lots here on the island that were gifted to the association. And the lots have always been forested, but as time has passed, they've been overcome by invasive plants and vines that are slowly strangling the trees. So I got to thinking about it and I'd read some information about other grant projects that bring in goats to do things like clean up Congressional Cemetery or clean up a park up in Howard County. And I was like, well, if they can do it, we can do it. So I got a grant through the Chesapeake Bay Trust and working in conjunction with the Charles County government, it was for $5,000 and that's enough money to clear the first of the eight lots. So we're hoping that our goats here are going to do their work successfully, and that my team of human volunteers who are gonna come in from time to time and help pull in the invasives that dare to sprout after the goats have done their work. And we're hoping it'll be successful enough to where we can get a little more grant money and get the rest of the other seven lots cleaned up because on an island that's small, you need every bit of soil you can have, because, and those tree roots hold on to that soil, and the more trees you have, the less likely our little island erodes into the Potomac or the Wacomico. So we all still wanna live here, and we've gotta do it in a harmonious way, way, and so the goats are helping us out, and they provide a non-toxic way of taking care of these invasives, and then the humans are coming in, and the humans are just gonna use their hands and hand tools, no power tools, no sprays, no nothing. And hopefully we can address these issues because the other part that the tree, the other role that the trees play is that their roots not only hold onto the soil, but they also filter all the storm water that runs into our Wacomico River over here, our Neil Sound over here, Potomac River out there. And of course that's where our watermen come and catch all those delicious things that people like to eat. So the healthier we can make the trees, the healthier we can make the water, the healthier we can make the food that comes out of these waters, which will benefit everybody. My name is Paula Proctor. I'm the Education and Outreach Coordinator for Charles County's Watershed Restoration and Protection Program. The Community Engagement and Restoration Grant is a Charles County and Chesapeake Bay Trust Grant for communities to install water quality improvement projects such as tree plantings, meadow plantings, installing rain gardens, doing stream cleanup. And the grant is a rolling grant so you can apply any time of the year and the amount is up to $5,000. When Jackie Moore contacted me back in April, she had this wonderful idea to use goats to control invasive plant species on a couple of lots on Cobb Island that are owned by the Cobb Island Citizens Association. At first I thought, hmm, what are the goats going to be able to do? But come to find out, goats do serve as a very good way to remove excessive invasive plants within a forest as part of the forest management so that the trees can be preserved and not overtaken by vines and weeds. So one thing that makes goats really effective at going after invasive vines is that goats love to eat. They love to eat. And one thing that's really awesome about goats, although there are many, is that they have four parts to their stomach. And so not only do they eat the vegetation, but their stomach grinds the seeds to the point where the seeds are no longer viable and can't be spread the way they're spread by birds and squirrels and other animals. So if you were thinking about a project that's similar to this, you know, maybe you've got some forested land that you own that you need cleared, or there's forested land owned by a nonprofit in your area, I would hope that you would consider using the goats because, as I said before, the goats are non-toxic. There's the sprays that people put down can linger in the air, you can breathe it in, it can get into the water, so if you do things like drink water or eat the fish and the crabs and things that come out of the bay and out of our rivers, then those poisons will eventually get into you. So the goats are a much better remedy to addressing problems like this. And they're so cute. So to be able to get the money to make this happen, like I said before, we got a grant from the Chesapeake Bay Trust and they have this program called Mini Grants and they're actually not that hard to complete. I know a lot of people here 
apply for a grant to get money to do X, Y, or Z, and they're very much overwhelmed because grant writing can be a formidable process, but the Chesapeake Bay Trust makes this easy. The people who work with the Mini Grants Program will help you, they'll shepherd you through the process and make it as pain-free as possible. Those that can apply for the grant are nonprofit organizations, community associations, homeowner associations, faith-based community are encouraged to apply for the grant. If you need more information, please contact me and I can help you with the application process.